Then Bryce Harper will hit it in the air to left. Jeff Francoeur, after switching over, makes that catch. There is something going on in the dugout. I see Papelbon saying, run the ball out. And Bryce saying, you got to be kidding me. And then Papelbon went right after Harper. It's getting ugly, folks. There's no other way to put it. That stuff happens throughout the course of the season, but. With Bryce bad Harper. days. You have a chance to put an inning basically down. And now Kemp with traffic. He's been a rocky killer and just hit a three-run home. Chest high fastball. And Matt Kemp hit it a mile. When Arenado got to the dugout, he was as incensed and as emotional as I've ever seen him. I have no idea what was said. We're going to find out I think from Jenny guys the words were hard to make out but the message very clear from Nolan Arenado he is frustrated this team is frustrated we talked with Nolan before the game today and he said this team is underachieving they need to start performing you can tell he's yelling right there at Nick Hunley I'm not sure if he's specifically directing his message towards Chris Russell and the error that happened but his bottom line is this team has to step up and perform and they have to do that right now as Drupal Cabrera telling Carlos Santana Probably you've got to make the catch. There. Absolutely. The ball catch down. the ball. That's beautiful. That's good stuff because right there Cabrera's taking charge man. He's being the, he's being the leader in there and he knows how important his game is. He's seeing that play. And look who's coming him down. I was the just starting say, pitcher. Still Carmona trying Carmona to play peacemaker. Saying, settle down. But you know what? It may have been a throw offline by Chisenhall. Okay. That was a little high. Now Santana at least has to catch the ball. There you see the manager over there. He's, he's getting an explanation. Uh, on the play Cabrera's telling him just catch the ball. I don't care if you got to come off the base That's good stuff last night I Santana mean, failed to make a catch on a throw from Cabrera right. that was later changed after the game to an error now, This is what happened after Calhoun struck out check this out And that was not a go get him either right there Interesting don't know what it's all about, but Calhoun not happy. I don't think it was Johnny Giovatella's fault. Well, in the last half inning, apparently there was a disagreement in the Tigers uh, dugout. McCann and Iglesias got into it a little bit. And Castellanos had to uh, take Iglesias out of there who fired his glove at McCann. Yeah, don't know exactly what was going on down there. Obviously, there was something related to the defensive end of last half inning, but we don't know for sure. It's outside now it goes to three and one on Victor and You're bound to have a few of these during the course of the season And Anthony goes now uh, Trying to make sure he calms down here And there's a base hit extra bases coming the breaking ball and Riles on his way to second and BJ Taking a lot of time to get to that ball, and it's going to be a three base hit for Ryle. And I don't know what that was all about. Sees it in the seam right here. Let's see where BJ is. And he's jogging. He's jogging right there. He's not running full speed. And Rusty Ryle recognized that right out of the box. Well, when the Rays uh, came back off the field after the top half of the fifth inning, Longoria took exception to uh, B.J. Upton's lack of effort in center field. And you can't blame Longoria for that. Listen, uh, I would rather see teammates get on teammates for talking about what you and I just talked about because it looked like B.J. was, was jogging after that ball in the gap. And that's what Longo, I'm sure, addressed. 